Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Car. And today is an incredibly exciting day because I'm here in Southern California and we're taking a look at what is probably one of the most anticipated vehicles we've seen come through TFL in a long time. This is the all new Volkswagen ID Buzz and it's been floating around the internet for years close to a decade, even maybe more. I don't know exactly how long rumors of this and mock-ups and concepts have been floating around online. We've seen camouflage versions of it, but now this is as close as we've seen to a production version of the ID Buzz. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at all the little details, all the features, and just take a deep dive into this all new Volkswagen ID Buzz. Let's jump right into it. It shouldn't be much of a surprise. This looks pretty similar to the concept we've seen floating around online. So I'm not gonna waste much time here. We're gonna go over the exterior in great detail, but you've been waiting to see the interior. This is what Volkswagen's been hiding from us for a long time. So we're gonna start with some of the interior bits, then we'll jump out to the exterior and then we'll just go through all the little details. So climbing into the ID Buzz here, and this is actually my first time sitting inside and wow, does this feel unique. Really, when you just look in front of you, you can really get a sense for what I'm saying here. I'm in a studio, so it might be a little hard to tell, but the windshield is like, a universe away from me right now. I have never been in a vehicle that makes you feel the same way that this does. The windshield is just so far away. You have this massive piece of glass up here um, in front of the A pillar. Is this a B pillar? I don't really know what to call these pillars because they're in such an odd place. But really when you're sitting inside here, it just feels extremely roomy and really special. I mean, between the white steering wheel and all the white accents on the door and the lighting and the yellow materials all throughout, definitely feels special and unlike any other vehicle really I have seen doing this job with TFL. All right, let's pop open this power sliding rear door here. You can see that pop open just like that. And this brings us to the rear seat. You can tell down on the floor, it is really flat. This is an electric vehicle, so no transmission hump, no driveline hump or anything like that. Completely flat, so really comfortable for a middle passenger to sit down there. I'll hop in. You can see I've got plenty of leg room here. My knees are about six inches from the driver's seat and this has slid pretty far back right now. So even as a middle passenger, I'm not wearing shoes right now because of this bright white floor right here. But for a middle passenger, it is extremely comfortable because of how much space there is back here. And then we'll pop open the trunk really quick. And this is absolutely massive back here. Again, really flat. Uh, you can see it does kind of bump down there, but this is the European version of the van. You can expect for the American market to have a third row back here and also a little bit longer wheelbase. All right, so I know that was a little bit of a tease. I just wanted to show you the inside of the ID Buzz because we've been waiting for that for a long time. But there's a ton of cool gadgets and gizmos, little Easter eggs hidden throughout the inside. You're gonna wanna stick around for that. But before we get there, I'm gonna walk you through all the exterior details, give you some specs, and talk to you about exactly what this is. So this is riding on Volkswagen's MEB platform, which is the same platform they're using in the ID4. It's rear wheel drive, 201 horsepower, and 229 pound-feet of torque. In the ID4, you can option that as an all-wheel drive vehicle, so no word on whether or not we're gonna get an all-wheel drive ID Buzz yet, but hopefully that's something that is going to come down the line. And it uses a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. You can see the fast charging port right there. And no exact range specifications yet on this vehicle, but the ID4 we saw about mid 200, about 260 miles of range. Uh, so maybe a little bit less just due to aerodynamics, but we'll just have to wait and see. All 
All right, let's talk about designs and proportions. This is unlike pretty much any vehicle on the road when you look at it from the exterior. And that's just because of its really funky shape. It throws back to Volkswagen's history with their old buses. And you can clearly see where this design came from when you look at the old one and the new one side by side. The first thing that really comes to my mind is the two-tone paint scheme. You can see this really cool yellow color, pretty similar to what they're using on the Mark 8 Golf. Um, looks pretty cool and I just love the fact that they're sticking to the roots and going with two-tone color options for this vehicle. Also this just screams Volkswagen bus when you look at the overhangs. The front wheel is pushed all the way to the front of the vehicle and the rear wheel again pushed pretty much all the way to the back which allows Volkswagen to maximize their space in this vehicle. Basically you push the wheels out to the corners and that allows for more space on the inside so that's why it feels so big on the interior when it's really not that big when you look at it from the outside. And the length is 185.5 inches, the wheelbase 117.6 inches. And keep in mind, these are all the European specs right here. Like I said, the American version is going to come in a longer wheelbase with a third row. So expect those numbers to grow a little bit, but those are all the exact specs for this European version of the ID Buzz. And unfortunately, I can't get this out on the road today. We'll do that as soon as Volkswagen gives us the opportunity but they say that this can turn in a circle of about 35 feet which is pretty impressive for a big people mover like this Up front, you can see the massive Volkswagen emblem, and I really like this. We've been complaining for years at TFL about vehicles having emblems that are just way too big, and most of the time, I don't think it works. But with this vehicle, I think you can make an exception because the old school Volkswagen buses had massive, massive emblems on the front, so why not stick a massive one on the new electric version of the bus? So I'm glad to see that. Also, I really like the headlight signature up here. Not only do you have this continuous uh, bar that runs the entire length of the vehicle but the surrounds around the headlight right there are super unique looking with all these little lines almost kind of vent looking accent pieces on the back here again to throw back to Volkswagen's history with their old buses. Really unique front bumper with all these different cutouts here and some of the prototypes we've seen uh, LED lighting and fog lights coming through some of these holes. This seems to be just black plastic right now so we'll have to see what actually makes it to the final production version and then of course you have your safety sensor up front. The ID Buzz is going to be available with Volkswagen's IQ drive system so you'll be able to get all those safety features in your ID Buzz. So if you have have a tight parking spot that you go to regularly, maybe it's at your office or at your house, you can almost hit a button that acts as like a record button and it will save that parking spot and make it easier for you to get in and out next time. Front camera mounted in the front bumper right there. You can also see cameras mounted to the bottom of the side mirrors and in the rear as well. Parking sensors on the back bumper. Also, there is no exhaust because this is an electric vehicle, but you do have a little bit of a little spoiler in the back or kind of a lip on the rear end and then the front end styling continues in the rear just like the front you have this one continuous light bar that extends the entire length of the vehicle and also a giant Volkswagen emblem in the rear to match the front. 21 inch wheels on this ID Buzz. They definitely fill out those wheel arches quite a bit. And also fun little Easter egg here on the back glass. You can see a little ID Buzz with an umbrella. And overall, just a really, really cool looking vehicle. Again, this is so, so unique. It's really hard to pick out anything you dislike about it just because it's so different. I really applaud Volkswagen for putting it in such a bright color and sticking with the two-tone, um, but that's pretty much everything you need to know on the exterior. Now let's get to the exciting stuff, show you what you wanna see, which is all the fun odds and ends, gadgets and gizmos on the interior of the ID Buzz. All right, gadgets and gizmos. Before we get started, there are these little puddle lights down here, which are pretty cool. Let's open up the door because the first part of this actually starts right in the entryway. You can see this little step right here. It's kind of like a running board, but it's on the inside of the door, uh, which is pretty cool. It makes it very easy to hop up in. You can see these door cards are color matched to the exterior of the vehicle, and they do have uh, some accent lighting right here. And you can change the color of that accent lighting, just like a lot of Volkswagen's other products. 
You also have pretty much the same uh, window and mirror controls that you see in the ID4. So it uses these haptic touch buttons rather than physical buttons. Not a super huge fan of those, but I know Volkswagen's trying to uh, stick to the high tech theme here, make everything seem futuristic. You have a little storage pocket right here with a rubberized bottom and then a trunk pop as well. And then just lots and lots of storage as you continue down the rest of the door. Power adjusting seats right there. You can see the memory function built into the side. Just like the ID4, your lighting controls are off to the left side of the steering wheel and are also kind of haptic touch buttons. And again, very similar to the ID4, you have a white steering wheel, which was my favorite part of the ID4 when I drove it. Again, I just think it's super unique. I've been so used to seeing black steering wheels my whole life, so just seeing something different, seeing some change is definitely welcome for me. Cruise control buttons are haptic touch as well as your media controls over here. You have a very similar setup to the ID4 in front. I like how they even show you a little picture of the ID Buzz on there, but that'll show you your mileage, uh, your battery charge, and your range right there. And then the drive indicators are similar to the ID4, but instead of having the lever right here, they've moved it to a stock. So it operates in the same way as the ID4's gear shifter, but it's just moved to a different location. Now I'll show you the dash here. Like I said, it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. There is a whole lot of space up there. No real storage cubbies or anything like that. You do have a light bar that extends the entire length of this. That way you can, from the exterior of the vehicle, see things like state of charge, whether or not the vehicle's charging. Um, but no storage or anything up there. I would like to see a little bit of a storage cubby. Uh, and then moving down here, this is pretty much the same 12 inch screen you see in the ID4, similar controls down there below. So you've got uh, power, climate, volume, and then climate for the passenger side as well. And then um, just some more haptic buttons up here to change between the different screens. Going through the center screen here, it all looks pretty similar to Volkswagen's new setup they've been using on a lot of their vehicles. Let's pop into the vehicle screen here, see if it shows us anything interesting. So we do have a little graphic there of the ID Buzz. Um, it's not showing us any data like I was hoping it might on some charging info and some usage info. So looks like Volkswagen's a little smarter than I am. But uh, yeah, very easy to use screen, bright and colorful, and you've got everything you need, radio, navigation, can pop into your charging screen there. So there, now it's showing me a little more info there. It looks like right now, 79% showing 192 miles of range remaining. Uh, and it's saying charge now up to 100%. You hit locations, looks like you can save your favorite charging locations. So some specific stuff there for the electric side of things, but again, pretty similar to what we've seen in Volkswagen system. And then you can see all the different light themes here. So right now we're on this kind of green eternity theme, but there's a bunch of these and uh, it's not gonna let me do it because the ignition's not on, but you can change the different colors and the brightness as well um, to set the mood. To the right of the light controls, you have a little cubby here. Maybe you could use that for coins or a parking card. And I really, really like this. There are two USB-C ports up here by the driver with a little phone slot. And I just think that's super convenient. It's very out of the way. Um, and it's just a perfect, perfect place to put your phone. Volkswagen says that you can get an ID4 with up to seven USB ports, which is pretty impressive. Right below the screen right there, you can see some climate control vents as well as buttons for controlling the rear doors. So just like you would expect in a van, you can open the left side door, the right side door, or turn the system off uh, using these buttons right up front. In one of the prototypes of the ID Buzz, we saw this little floating gnome up on the dash. I thought that was really cool. Not super shocked to see that that didn't make it to a production model. But if we look down here, I am very glad to see that this made it in. I really, really like the play and pause buttons, especially being in the world of YouTube on the brake and accelerator pedals. So really hoping that makes it to the final US version of this vehicle. Between the two seats, you can see the center console. These cup holders are adjustable, so you can uh, slot them in exactly where you want. It's a little hard to do while I'm looking through a camera, there you go. Um, but you can adjust those and make for some more storage or cup holders. You can also fully pull this unit out and that makes for a pass through so you can walk to the back seat of this vehicle. But in case that wasn't enough, there are some flip down cup holders right here. So you pull that out 
and you've got two more right there. Just like the back seat, this is a very, very flat floor. So if you have some groceries or maybe a purse or something you wanna put down on the floor there, easy to do and keep it out of both the driver and passenger foot compartment. Also, I like the use of wood on the dash here. It just makes it seem a little old school, a little bit retro, which is definitely good to see on this kind of vehicle. And then I like this cubby here too. You've got storage for the passenger. Um, they don't need to use the glove box or anything. You still have a regular glove box for all your documents but a little bit of storage here that's easy to access. And then again, really, really like this. USB-C port on the door. So in most vehicles, you know, you'll have center mounted USB-C ports that can be shared for either the driver or passenger. In the ID Buzz, you have two that are dedicated just for the driver and then one over there that is just for the passenger. Up top, it looks pretty normal. You've got your SOS button lighting. That's all standard Volkswagen stuff. Flip down sun visors just as you'd expect. And then here's a look at the seats, some ID branding there and a cool geometric shape pattern, kind of a mix between leather and suede uh, in this light kind of off gray color with some darker gray accenting. Pretty good look and they are captain's chairs. You have these flip down armrests that would make for a pretty comfortable road trip vehicle. All right, gadgets and gizmos for the back seat. So you pull the handle once and the whole door automatically goes back open. Once again, you've got a little ID Buzz Easter egg hiding down here. And same thing, you've got these little steps to get you on in. You even have these little grab loops right here. You can grab on and hoist yourself in and then a little button here to shut the door. There we go. Now that the door is shut, you can see we've got that same accent lighting and yellow material on the inside here. And it is very, very spacious back here. I've got plenty, plenty of knee room, plenty of headroom. I'm about five foot 10 and I've got like six inches above my head, so no issues there. On the back seats, you can see you've got little storage pockets here, but also you have this upper pocket, uh, which could be good for like sticking a tablet in or propping your phone up maybe to watch a video. Uh, and then you also have a huge storage cubby here that is using the bottom half of the front storage bins and cup holder system there. So pretty cool. You don't have any flip down cup holders on the middle seat here, but it is a very wide seat. The lights just shut off on me. We'll turn those back on. Again, they're like haptic. They don't actually click in. You just tap them and they turn on. Pretty futuristic feeling, um, but yeah, no cup holders here on the middle seat or anything, but just a very, very wide bench seat and really comfortable, lots and lots of space back here. On the door, there are these two blank buttons here, so I'm assuming there's more options you can add onto this. There's also a little cover down here, I'm assuming for what could be an additional USB port if you added that in. But just like the front seats, plenty of storage. You've even got some more down below there. Uh, and same thing is mirrored over on the other side. All right, and now taking a peek at the trunk once again, there's no storage under this floor right here, but you do have some tie down points in the corners so you can strap things down. Uh, also some more Easter eggs kind of stamped into the side there. And you've even got some more storage. So you can see if there were a third row back here, which we will again be getting in the US, they'll have some cup holders, speakers, a little bit of storage, and maybe an option for some USB ports. Also, you've got a little cover for your cargo here so you can pull this back and keep everything out of view in this massive trunk. Also, check this out. Does that look like a tow hitch to you? It does to me. Let's pull that, see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So a little retractable towing hitch there, snaps into place and really cool way to keep the ball out of sight. And the wiring looks a little bit different from what we use here in the US, but pretty cool that it's actually integrated into the ball. And then of course on the trunk door, you have your safety triangle, little pull strap to close it manually and a button to close it automatically. So there you have it guys, an in-depth walk around and tour of Volkswagen's all new ID Buzz. I was really excited I got out here and got the chance to make this video. This is a vehicle we've all been super excited about and I know you guys have been too. 
Uh, as far as when this is going to be available, like I said, this is the European version we're looking at here today. So for the US, we're gonna get a longer wheelbase, we're gonna get three rows, and we're not gonna get the cargo version, at least not yet. So in the US, just the passenger version. It's gonna make a debut next year in 2023, and Volkswagen says it will go on sale in 2024. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to head on over to tfl-studios.com so you don't miss any coverage in the automotive world. And we'll catch you in the next video.